might be more swing on this tune now. <laughs> of playing the same tune there basically and you may notice that this tuning on this fiddle I'm actually one tone down so wherever that puts me but I thought I would use this tune as a simple lesson to go through this style of music and um, I'm going to use a standard tuned fiddle now So that's standard GDAE. Now it's important that when you try playing two strings together, they sound okay. Sounds all right. Yep, that sounds all right. Yep, that sounds okay. You want to be in tune because basically we're going to play a lot of um, drone notes in this tune. So it's important that we try and keep the fiddle roughly in tune. So the tune starts out like this. You may remember I, I recorded a video just before New Year's Eve and um, this was a tune that featured in that video. I did say I'd make a lesson out of it so this is the lesson. So basically we're on the A string there. So that's just simply the open string, first finger and third finger, the ring finger. Okay, we repeat that. The only interesting thing there is that you play the first two notes with one bow stroke and then the next time you play uh, two notes with one bow stroke is this part that hammer on so the rest of the notes are all one single bow stroke So in that first phrase there, this one here, there are two parts there where you play two notes with one bow stroke. Now I will indicate that on the musical notation so you can see where they are basically. It doesn't matter if you can't do that because um, it, it won't detract a great deal from the tune. It will just take a little bit of the swing away. But anyway, the next part of this tune is on the D string. So it drops from the A to the D. So that's um, from the A. And then we drop onto the D string with our first and middle finger. Back onto the A, and then onto the D. Now we drop onto the G string with our middle finger. First finger on the G string. Uh, 
so I'll play this whole lot now. the first part of that tune I would like you as you're playing that tune uh, on the A string drone the D string so in other words you're playing the D string at the same time <laughs> okay so that bow doesn't want to be too taut I usually have my bow something like that um, there is some give in it quite defined on that there's no use sort of um, scratching away at the D string you've got to re really you know put a bit of pressure on that bow because what you're doing is you're giving the other band members if you're playing in a band drummer bass guitar um, accordion whatever you're giving them the rhythm through your bowing so they've got to be able to hear it so play it nice and strong let's go down now all I did there when I went down to that D string I just simply um, played the melody on the D string that bit and I also played the open A as a drone string because you're using the violin as a, as a, a method of showing the rhythm When you go on to the G string, you play the open D. So really, that's all you're doing. You're just using that open string um, to sympathetically play a drone. I think that's probably the way to describe it. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's take it from the top. Three, four. notation I'm not showing the drone notes because to be honest it just crowds out the musical notation you just get hundreds of extra notes that really are meaningless because as long as you remember to play the string next to the one you're playing as a drone note then, then you've got it sorted so you don't I don't really think it's neat necessary to put all the open drone notes on because it just crowds out the musical notation well, that, that's my excuse anyway. So, as you'll see, the musical notation just shows the actual melody. So, the last part of the tune goes like this. Okay. 
okay so I'll just take it through slowly now so we start on the A and then drop across to the E play again Repeats. Now we've got the E. thing there is you really got to get some emphasis on that second note so with some drone notes For those more advanced players, you can do this if you want. Now now drop up to a unison note on the E string. confident enough to play right the way through right three four let's go for it three four <laughs> So that's the, that's the, the tune that is um, played in a Cajun style. I wouldn't say it's actually a Cajun tune, but it's played in a Cajun style. Now let's put some swing into it. Now what I mean by that is this. It's not easy for me to describe that because if you're not used to playing with that kind of swing it can be perhaps a bit tricky at first to kind of get it but you've got to think of like along the lines of think of the jazz music think of that swing music to kind of get that feel in your playing because um, you don't consciously think about the bowing it just kind of you think about the rhythm and the bowing sort of naturally follows on. 
Anyway, so it would sound like this if you played it with a bit of swing. Three, four. <laughs> emphasis on my bowing there you just need to perhaps practice that at first flowing through the tune. Um, that basically, as I say, is where you're hearing the swing in your head. You're hearing that beat going through in your head. Um, it might help if you if you put a, some sort of a backing track on with a jazz um, drummer just sort of doing In fact, you could even record yourself doing that It might sound a bit strange and a bit odd, but actually it does give you that audio audio clue that you need when you're playing because you can stick your headphones on and then you could hear the rhythm. You put it on a loop, of course, and you could hear the rhythm. sliding down when I hit that F on the E string. Did you hear that? It's a nice blues trick, it sounds very bluesy. chance I'll make a backing track that will work with this so that you can play along with that and at least you stand a chance of getting that rhythm. Um, if, if, you, if you're uncomfortable playing in that swingy style just play it the straight way I played it first of all uh, which was like this. <laughs> for a two-step dance because it's uh, there's less sort of swing in it and it might work better with a two-step dance the dancers actually dancing the two-step move but there you go so that's that's the tune that um, I thought might be of interest to you I've worked out the notation at least so you can you can have a crack at it and see what you think um, but um, other than that, I don't think I can show you much more on this really because um, it's all down to those drone notes and your bowing technique. Um, and so have a go, see what you think and um, have fun. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now. Three, four. <laughs>